Ever wondered what the differences are between the F-35A and F-35B fighter jets? Well, look no further. These two impressive machines are part of the F-35 Lightning II series, a fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft developed by the renowned Lockheed Martin. The series incorporates a variety of different variants, each designed with unique attributes to serve specific purposes. Today, we're focusing on two of these, the F-35A and F-35B. These aircraft may share the F-35 moniker, but that's where the similarities end. From propulsion to performance, airframe to operational roles, and even differences in weight and cost, these two variants are as diverse as they come. Each of them is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering, reflecting the unique requirements and operational environments of their intended users. Now let's delve into the unique attributes that distinguish these two state-of-the-art machines. First off, we'll explore the differences in propulsion and lift systems between the F-35A and F-35B. Now the heart of any fighter jet is its engine, and both the F-35A and F-35B are powered by a single Pratt and Whitney F-135 turbofan engine. This engine is a marvel of modern technology, capable of generating upwards of 40,000 pounds of thrust. But here's where things start to differ. The F-35A uses what's known as a conventional takeoff and landing, or CTO system. As the name suggests, this system allows the aircraft to take off and land in a traditional manner. The F-135 engine provides the thrust necessary to propel the aircraft forward, and once sufficient speed is reached, the wings generate lift and the aircraft soars into the sky. On the other hand, the F-35B variant takes a different approach. It utilizes a short takeoff and vertical landing, or Stovall system. This system allows the aircraft to take off from short runways, or even from the decks of ships. The real magic, however, happens during landing. The F-35B can land vertically, just like a helicopter. Now, you might be wondering, how is this possible? Well, the answer lies in a unique piece of technology known as the lift fan. This is an additional propulsion system located behind the cockpit of the F-35B. When the aircraft is preparing to land vertically, doors on the top and bottom of the aircraft open and the lift fan spins up. This generates a downward thrust counteracting gravity and allowing the aircraft to hover and land vertically. So, while both jets are powered by the same engine, the lift system significantly sets them apart. The F-35A's conventional takeoff and landing system is simpler and more efficient, making it suitable for traditional Air Force duties. Meanwhile, the F-35B's short takeoff and vertical landing system gives it an unparalleled level of versatility, allowing it to operate from a wider range of environments. This flexibility makes it an invaluable asset for the Marine Corps and other naval air arms. Moving on to the airframe and structural differences, there's more than meets the eye. The F-35A, for instance, sticks to the basics with a traditional landing gear and airframe design. This classic design is a testament to the time-tested principles of aeronautical engineering, offering a balance of speed, range and maneuverability that's well suited to its air superiority role. On the other hand, the F-35B takes a more innovative approach. Its airframe has been reinforced to withstand the rigors of short takeoffs and vertical landings, maneuvers that exert a lot of stress on the aircraft's structure. These reinforcements are not just about brute strength, though. They also serve to protect the aircraft's advanced systems and components, ensuring they can function optimally even in the harshest conditions. But the F-35B's structural differences don't stop there. It also features a unique vertical lift system. This system, which includes a shaft-driven lift fan, revolutionizes the way the aircraft takes off and lands. By generating vertical thrust, it allows the F-35B to operate from tight spaces like the deck of an amphibious assault ship or a short, unprepared runway. This capability expands the aircraft's operational flexibility, enabling it to serve in a wider range of missions and environments. The F-35B's wing design also differs from that of the F-35A. The wings are shaped and positioned to accommodate the lift fan, which sits behind the cockpit and is engaged during vertical takeoffs and landings. This design choice ensures the aircraft's center of gravity remains balanced, a critical factor in maintaining stability and control during these challenging maneuvers. So, whether it's the classic design of the F-35A, 
or the innovative features of the F-35B, each variant's airframe and structural elements are tailored to its specific operational needs. They reflect the complex interplay between technology and tactics, between engineering and strategy, that defines the world of modern military aviation. These structural differences have been designed to accommodate each variant's unique operational requirements. Now, let's consider their performance and capabilities. How do they stack up? Diving right into it, the F-35A is a bit of a speed demon. This jet is optimized for air-to-air -air combat, boasting a higher top speed of over Mach 1.6. That's faster than the speed of sound. This speed advantage allows the F-35A to be an effective interceptor, rapidly closing in on enemy aircraft before they even know what's hit them. But speed isn't everything, right? While the F-35A also has a longer range, which means it can travel further without refueling. This makes it ideal for missions that require a longer reach, such as deep strike missions or long-range air defense. Now, let's switch gears and talk about the F-35B. This variant is designed with a very specific purpose in mind. Operations from amphibious ships and short, unprepared runways. It might not be as fast as the F-35A, with a top speed of just over Mach 1.5. But don't let that fool you. Its unique design allows it to take off and land almost anywhere making it perfect for expeditionary operations where traditional runways may not be available. And while the F-35B may be a touch slower than its sibling, it still packs a punch. It's more than capable of holding its own in a dogfight, and its short takeoff and vertical landing capability gives it an unmatched level of versatility. You could say it's the Swiss Army knife of fighter jets. In the end, it's not just about raw performance. It's about how these aircraft are able to fulfill their respective roles. The F-35A, with its speed and range, is built for air superiority and deep strike missions. The F-35B, on the other hand, is all about flexibility and adaptability, ready to take off and land in diverse environments. Despite some differences in performance metrics, both jets are highly capable and specialized for their respective roles. Each one, a masterpiece of engineering, designed to excel in its own unique way. Let's not forget about their operational roles. After all, that's what these machines were built for. So let's dive into the heart of the matter. The F-35A and F-35B, while sharing a common lineage, play different roles in the theater of operations. First up, we have the F-35A. This variant is the workhorse of the US Air Force and other air forces around the globe. It's the traditional air superiority fighter built to rule the skies. Its primary mission, air defense. But don't mistake it for a one-trick pony. The F-35A also excels at strike missions, designed to take out enemy targets on the ground. And let's not overlook its reconnaissance capabilities. With its advanced sensors and stealth features, the F-35A can gather intelligence without the enemy even knowing it's there. It's the eyes and ears of the battlefield, providing crucial information to commanders and troops on the ground. Now let's turn our attention to the F-35B. This variant is a different beast altogether. It's the Swiss army knife of the F-35 family, designed for versatility. The F-35B is primarily used by the US Marine Corps and other naval air arms. Its unique ability to take off and land in tight spaces makes it perfect for expeditionary operations. Imagine an amphibious assault where the F-35B can provide close air support, striking targets and protecting troops. And just like its cousin, the F-35A, it also has strike capabilities. But where it really shines is in its role as a force multiplier. It enhances the effectiveness of other units, both in the air and on the ground, providing them with the support they need to achieve their objectives. So whether it's air defense or expeditionary operations, each jet has a role to play. The F-35A and F-35B while different in design and capabilities, are both integral parts of the modern battlefield. They are the tools in the hands of the men and women who protect us, each serving a unique and vital role. Finally, there are a few other notable differences between the F-35A and F-35B. One of them is weight. The F-35B is slightly heavier than the F-35A due to the additional lift fan and structural reinforcements necessary for its short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities. Next up, we have range. The F-35A comes out on top in this category with a slightly longer range. This is due to its more efficient engine and airframe design, which allows it to conserve more fuel during flight. Finally, we come to cost. As you might have guessed, 
the F-35B is generally more expensive than the F-35A. This is primarily due to the complexity of its short takeoff and vertical landing system, which requires more advanced technology and therefore greater investment. These differences, while not as prominent, still play a crucial role in the decision-making process when it comes to choosing between the F-35A and F-35B 